بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد مبارك وسلم وصلي عليه إن شاء الله make it very comprehensive سيدنا سبحانه وتعالى سيس أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا مِيثَاقَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ لَا تَعْبُدُونَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينِ وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ حُسْنًا وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ ثُمَّ تَوَلَّيْتُمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مِنْكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ مُعْرِضُونَ وَإِذْ أَخَذْنَا I remember when we took covenant Mithaqa Mithaq one is Ahad Another one is Mithaq Al-Lajina is Ahad And Mithaq is called a very firm commitment that you are not going to break it that you have to hold fast it and there is no choice you know you have no option whether you fulfill or not no you have to take this covenant Mithaq. This is called very strong promise. There is no promise, promise. Are you going to break it? No. No way. Waith Akhadna, Mithaq Bani Israel. What was that? I remember when we took a covenant from the firm commitment from the children of Israel. You shall worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That never associate any partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at Sayyidina Musa al was now when he went on a, mount, uh, uh, on a tour. And in his absence, they start worshipping Taf. They associate partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Worship none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is first. Then after, after commitment, you know, after fulfilling this covenant, that you are not associating partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to worship none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the very next is وَوِلْ وَالِدِنِ إِحْسَانَ after ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَوِلْ وَالِدِنِ إِحْسَانَ be good to your parents وَوِلْ وَالِدِنِ إِحْسَانَ وَذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى and your relatives, orphans and destitute speak fear to the people establish salah and pay zakah but you broke the covenant except a few of you and you paid no heed. And this another covenant is mentioned in this ayah. And from this ayah we will learn, you know, there are common uh, uh, values. It's called common values. Uh, it's just not only in Islam, but even before, we had the same values that worship with none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the Anbiya Ikram. They came and they were raised uh, with, with, this, with this, the first very important thing is Tawheed. That none worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the first one and uh, being good to the parents and the relatives and the orphans and those who are destitute, deserving people, those are masakeen, uh, help them, support them, aqeem uh, salah uh, establish prayer. So this prayer is not only for the, in the, you know, in, uh, uh, for the Ummah Muhammadi that was also uh, prescribed uh, before, you know, the nations before, uh, deen e Musri or deen e Isri, they had also prayer and the kind of charity they also practice. So these are common values. So, but Israel, you know, this Yahud, uh, majority of them, they turned back. They did not fulfill. They associated partner with Allah. وَقَالَ فِي الْيَهُدُ وَزَيْدُ نِبْنُ اللَّهِ They start calling Uzaid, son of Allah. Huh? And they associated partner. And uh, they did not uh, really respect and uh, being good to the parents. And they did not establish prayer or taking care of orphans or masakeen. But few of them they followed. Few of them they followed. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, most of you are not paying heed. So that's your attitude. And the next one is again the same thing. And remember, so in other covenant, uh, which was took from you, uh, that you shall not shed blood among yourselves and and you shall not expel your own people from your homes. You confirm it, and you are witness to it. Yet there are, are you know, killing, killing your own people, expelling the group, expelling a group, you know, one group to another group, you know, amongst you, 
uh, from their homes, backing each other with sin and aggression. And if they come to you as captives, you trade them for ransom, whereas their expulsion was unlawful for you to, to begin with. Do you believe in a part of your holy book and reject it and, and reject the rest? So what other punishment do such people among you, subhanAllah, who behave like this, deserve them that, that disgrace in this world and be driven to grievous punishment on the day of judgment? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not unaware of what you do. Such are the people who fade in the life of hereafter for the life of this world. So neither their punishment shall be lightened, nor shall they be you know, the halt. So in this ayah, وَإِذَا خَذْنَا مِيثَاقَكُمْ لَا تَسْفِكُونَ دِمَاءَكُمْ وَلَا تُخْرِجُونَ أَنفُسَكُمْ مِنْ دِيَارِكُمْ ثُمَّ أَقْرَدْتُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَشْخَدُونَ And another covenant was taken that never ever shed blood. And وَلَا تُخْرِجُونَ أَنفُسَكُمْ Do not expel your own people from their homes. There was uh, in, in Medina, uh, they would Aus and Khazraj, as we know the story, and Aus and Khazraj, the two ties, uh, that they will have conflict, and sometimes, you know, with this conflict, they will lead to shed blood. And uh, there were two other tribes from Yahud, Banu Quraiza and Banu Nadir. They were living around the Medina. So, Aus and Khazraj, and Aus, they had a commitment, they had, uh, you know, uh, 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 Aus and the Banu Quraiza, they were together. They were supporters for each other. Because they were one group. Uh, Banu Quraiza used to support Aus. And uh, Banu Nadir used to support Banu uh, uh, Khazraj. So one group, Aus and uh, Banu Quraiza, and Khazraj and Banu Nadir. Now they were supporting each other. They had a commitment. Then Aus and Khazraj, sometimes they will have a conflict, they will have a fight, as we know that they had a civil war and it lasted for 100 years. And they destroyed generation and generation. So, because of being a supporter of each other, if something happens and Aus and Banu Quraiza, when they will be one side, and Banu Nadir and Khazraj, they will be one side, when they will have a fight and Aus and Khazraj, then what will happen? They will expel each other. They will shed blood because Banu, uh, Banu Quraiza and Banu Nadir, they will also fight with one another because of supporting of each other. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't shed blood and they will be part of that. Second covenant was taken, that don't, do not expel people, your own people from their homes. Because, uh, you know, Banu Quraiza, uh, when they will be, you know, supporting ours and that somehow, uh, you know, they are there, so the earth is going to be tightened and they have to move out. So who will be the part of that? Banu Nadir. Banu Nadir is the one who is expelling their own people, you know, Banu Quraiza from their homes. So in the same way, you know, opposite also the same way. Banu Quraiza, when they will get chance, they will expel Banu Nadir. But once they will be in captive, they will become a seer, then they will pay ransom. They will pay ransom only for Yahud. Although they were supporting Banu Aus, you know, uh, Banu Quraiza is supporting Aus, and Banu Nadir is supporting Khazraj, but from Banu Quraiza or Banu Nadir, anyone from them, if they will be captive, now they will support each other. They will again go for one another. What about your supporters then? You are now, now you are neglecting. The first two things was prohibited. Not to shed blood, one thing, and not to drive them out from there, not to expel uh, you know, your own people from their homes. You have carried on that one. You did not stop. You break this oath, but when time comes to support your own Yahud, you are ready for that. What kind of your treatment is? So Allah SWT exposed that, you know, if you carry on that, then what will happen on the day of judgment, you will have a severe punishment. And they will be disgraced. You will be disgraced. And this has happened. They were disgraced. Banu Quraiza, because of all that they have habits, they will make promise and they will break it. 
and they have some commitment they have agreed upon in Medina that you know uh, if anyone uh, attacks from outside and we will defend the people of Medina and Banu Qurayza whenever someone will attack from outside they will be associating with them yes yeah, this is a time coming coming now you can attack this is the right time to do 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 you know, you know do this when they were ex you know exposed and then Banu Qurayza was some of them they were killed some of them were captured and so in this way they were disgraced and Banu Nabi, they were expelled from Medina. Now you have no way to stay here anymore. Because not only one time, if you break promise one time, two times, third time, four times, then how many times, you know, enough is enough. Now get out of here. So both of them, both tribes, because of their own evil habits, is not because of someone, this, uh, you know, you know uh, did injustice to them, injustice to them, but because of their own habits. So one of them, some of them were killed, and captured, and Banu Nadir were expelled, and they were driven out from Medina, and they, uh, they moved to Bilal Sham. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah Whatever you do, Allah is not unaware of that. And why they used to do that? Because of, you know, some, uh, you know, because of money, because of some position, power, and all these things which is going to be not lasting longer. Uh, they will do everything for that reason. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ اسْتَرَبُوا الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا بِالْآخِرَةَ فَلَا يُخَفَّفُ عَنْهُمُ الْعَذَابُ وَلَا هُمْ يُنْصَرُونَ So on the day of judgment, their punishment will not be lighter. There will be no helper. Now you may help each other here, and even you are, you are doing injustice, you are doing unlawfully. But on the day of judgment, who is going to support you? So basically in these ayats, um, uh, the, uh, the punishment and the habits of the Yahud are mentioned there. So they are not trustworthy. Whenever they will get chance, yes, they are going to utilize their chance. They are not going to let it do. And they, they used to do it before, until today. You know, expelling means basically, you know, how you driven out people. It's not that you're going to pull them out. You are, you are coming so close to them. You are cornering them. You know, you, you, so you are making their passes so tight. Like for example, someone is standing there, and I'm coming closer, coming closer, coming closer. And you are squeezing him such an extent, such an extent, he has to move his place. Either he has to move from his place, or he's going to push you. If he's going to push you, then again, Kuzai, you pushed me. But you don't know you are squeezing him. That's happening. They keep on squeezing, they keep on squeezing, they keep on squeezing. So then what happens? Either one way will happen. Either the person will move from his spot or he's going to push you. So either way, you will justify yourself. If you move, you wanted that. Yes, I wanted that, you know, to, uh, to expel you from your place. Yes, I wanted that. But if you pushed me, why did you push me? You did wrong to me, you did injustice to me. You know, that you gained sympathy from others. You know what did he do to me? He is pushing me. He is doing to me that one. But you don't realize your things. So this is evil habits. For these evil habits, Allah will not lighten their punishment on the day of judgment and there will be no comfort for them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from all kind of